Hello everyone, my name is Nathan, you're watching Leviathan, and welcome to The Devoured Dead. Now this is another game that came out in the Asylum Game Jam. So it's uh, um, a Game Jam game made in 48 hours. So you can't expect too much from it, but a lot of times these games are very creative and artful and just really fun to play. So I know I don't know a lot about this one, I just saw some pictures and it looked um, like I should play it, so I'm going to play it. Um, before I get into this, I did want to say um, this week is finals week for me for college and stuff so uh videos may or may not be on schedule i don't know um don't didn't prepare for it as per usual and i still have to do a lot of studying for school so we shall see this should be up on proper time but after this i don't know if it will be up on schedule or not because i'll be doing lots of studying okay let's get into this though uh start game um, do, do, let's make it a little bit more visible because I want you guys to be able to see. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Ooh, bright light. Um, hello? What are you? Oh, I wasn't clicking the game apparently. I'm clicking the game now. I don't know what I'm seeing, but I can click on this. The bootlegger. Okay. I don't know what's going on here. I came here as a guest once. At, a at the time, I was just passing through. I do recall that m that much. I was greeted by the gracious host, the owner of the house. He had opened the place up to travelers from all places. The next time, it was under more unpleasant circumstances, and I moved through these halls under the cover of darkness. I was starved, confused. My first impulses was, uh, impulse was to make a quick th theft collect what I could from the old man's private collection upstairs and turn what little money I had, um, money I could from it. Okay. Interesting. Is that where we are now? Or are we here some other time? Okay. So it appears I can click on things. I'm not really sure the reason to be clicking on it. It appears I'm like this little spirit. Click to hide. I, I think, I think we're hidden. Do we hide? Cool. Some darkness, creepy thing was trying to hunt us. So we're, it appears we're this little um, spirit thing. So are we dead? We're just going to explore this world. Locked. Okay. Okay. I can move wherever I click. I didn't know if I had to click on these shiny things to move or not. This is an interesting game. I, I went in here not knowing at all what the gameplay was at, was at, at all. So uh, it's, it's interesting. Very interesting. So that is just about hiding from the darkness. What is this? A trap door? I didn't want to go through the trap door, my friend. Um, let's go back up then. Okay. Ooh, a key. Are you a key to the chest that is downstairs? Here's Johnny. Apparently, there's an axe in this door. It's trying to, somebody trying to get in. Somebody appears to be trying to get in there. Okay, let's go down. Okay. Unlock the Chester. Mr. Chester, what is in you? Oh, it's just a drawer. I couldn't help myself. I treated myself to the taste of the old man's liquor stock. And that's when my plan, um, plan began to form. Certain that I ha um, had more supplies in his kitchen than he could possibly keep stock of. I resolved to start there and to carve out something not unlike a, legitim a legitimate life for myself. Okay. Cool. That didn't sound good. Sounds dark and sinister. I found a passage while rummaging through the pantry. Here, a dank, moist little tunnel that spiraled down into the bowels of the house. It was there that I set up uh, my operation. The house owner wasn't, was absent, away on some trip, and I set myself to work putting together a makeshift still. Liquor was forbidden, and I was sure that I could turn my fortune around by manufacturing something quickly and cheaply, safely outside of suspicion by operating beneath the house of the modern day, a, a, a modern day aristocrat. So we're we hidden here to make illegal alcohol. Does that mean it's during prohibition time period? Barricaded. Do we need an axe? Because I know where there's an axe. 
ask ask me a question and I'll tell you no lies. Um, interesting. So I'm not sure if I'm assuming this is like our spirit returning here after death or something like that. The re uh, kind of explore what happened in life. Okay, give me the axe. Thank you. We haven't ran into the darkness again, and hopefully we won't. Don't want to die. I'm assuming that's what will happen if one does not hide from the dark. And there doesn't appear to be a place to hide in here. So if something happens, I think we're doomed. Ah, thank you. It's pretty easy. Um, it's not very puzzling as what to do, which is nice. The old man, the one who owned the place, he had brought something back with him from the latest trip. I had been working unnoticed in the basement for months when it showed up. A writhing, horrific thing with malice in its eyes greeted me from behind a cage in the room I had once used for my operations. I saw no mouth, but the creature's teeth glistened at me in the darkness of the basement. Those teeth, they contorted, twisted upward into an alien mockery of a smile, jagged and cracked. I ran, um, certain that the old man had um, some trophy in his personal quarters I could use to defend myself. As I forced my way through that small tunnel to the kitchen, I heard the steel of the thing's cage buckle and break beneath, behind me. Are we going to be chased by whatever this dark, forbidding thing is? Oh, it's the cage, all right. Oh, no. It definitely broke, broke that. Oh no, oh no. Turn off, turn off the light, turn off the light. I am devoured. No, it cannot be. Okay, darn it, did we start from the beginning? See, it's not so. Oh no. That's not nice. Um... Oh, this is new. I remember this place. I was invited here. Something regarding a catalog? My host, Devin Marquet, um, Mar Mar Marquet or something, met me in this study, offering a glass of brandy, or with what? Or was it scotch? Some for um, some for forbidden, carefully crafted dark liquor. For certain, he kept the key to the cabinet somewhere upstairs. So every time I die, is it going to start a new story? A new character? That will be interesting. Hopefully I don't die anymore, though. Oh, no. Leave. Leave this place. Turn off light. We are hidden. I think. Good, okay. Woo. Last time it was just my character couldn't get to the um, the light in time to save the savey, but I like this. It, it looks nice. It's a, it's a well um, made, um, and it, it runs fairly smoothly and stuff. So I'm, I'm liking this. The story is interesting as well. What is this monstrous creature that hid, not hid, that was uh, caged in there and, and is darkness? We shared a fair few drinks as we discussed his recent trip abroad to some distant and cold wasteland. After some time, he invited me to the kitchen, seeing my cons consolation in regards to some strange beast he had come across on his latest ex expedition. Despite my many attempts to acquire more information on the uh, creature, on the creature, my host seemed reluctant to divulge, or perhaps he was incapable of forming an accurate description. From what I've seen, it's not very describable what we have seen. I would go get the axe, but I'm assuming I can't pick it up until I've seen the door. After uh, no small amount of effort, he began to describe the creature. First, in small um, parcels of information, primarily rela uh, relating, me, um, relating to me what the creature was not. But before long, my host's eyes flashed with excitement as he recounted the tale of his uh, capture of whatever it may have been. A wild-eyed, uh, sin, sin, sinny Ugh. A sinewy creature of some forsaken continent or another, both lumbering and, and impossibly fast, glistening on the snow and in, in, 
Oh my goodness, I am going to have trouble reading this. Imperceptible save for the sound it made. His um, description of the thing was beyond anything that I had come across in my research. A being that defined the natural order of what I knew to be true. When my host informed me that it was safely caged away in the basement, I had no choice. I implored him to show me. I must see the creature, my friend. I must show me it, or I do not believe it exists. Okay. So I, I do like this, how every time you die, it kind of gives you a reason to go back through because it's a new story and stuff. Because usually games are like, oh, you died. You have to restart from here and make it all the way through. Poor you. But, but now we actually get kind of an explanation of what's going on. And hopefully next time we don't get instantly killed. Go through the door. Thank you. And go through that door. He was angry at first, seething at me through clenched teeth, eyes aflame with accusation. I was unsure of what I had done and terrified for my life. I believed that the uh, Mr. Marcus recognized the fear in my eyes, and he knew that I was not to blame for whatever had happened. There had been a cage, or rather, a remains of one, twisted and wrapped, um, warped out of its original shape. Had my host not told me what it used to be, I never would have known. After a sudden shift in cons um, countenance, he ushered me upstairs, directing me to a chamber secreted away in the far side of his quarters. Okay, interesting. Okay, so... This actually isn't like a different story completely separate. They happen at the same time. So this we're talking to Mr. Whatever his face was. I can't remember right now um, about his creature and how he found it. And the guy before the thief, the person hiding inside his house, released it. Oh, very interesting. I like that. I like that a lot. I'm, I'm, I'm worried that if I go over here, the creature will return. Okay. There doesn't seem to be anything that we can click on there. Can we go back? No, we can't go back either. Oh, I'm worried. I'm worried that if I go over here, I'm going to die. Yes, okay. Quickly, 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 quickly. I am devoured. Okay, like, I went there to turn off the light. There's nothing else I could do. Should I not do anything? Or is this going to be a new story again? The bootlegger. It still says the same thing. Oh, I get it. I get it now. Go back through. Go back through. Go back through. I don't. I don't want to be in here. Go back through. Ah, damn it. Okay, so let us let us get devoured again. I think I can choose which character to go through as. Yes, yes, I am devoured. Okay. So what do we have here? We have the bootlegger, which is the first person we played as. Then we have the scientist, which is the second person we played as. If we click on this, I think we'll be a new person. I came here as a get, no, it's the same thing. Okay. Um, quickly, 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 let's go get what we need. Blah, 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 whatever dark creature it is. It seems to be just missed. Oh no. Did they go find the island in Lost and, and bring the uh, smoke creature? There's definitely noises going on in this house. So some scientist dude traveled, got this creature from cold iced wastelands. And then... There's nothing I can do but get to the... Am I going to be devoured again? Yeah. I saw that coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am devoured. So there's more doorways here. Oh, what is this? A man of means. Okay, so this is something new. Good, good. Cool. I was hosting the research from abroad. 
whom I had invest invited due to her experience with exotic animals. Wait, what? I was hosting a researcher from abroad whom I had invited due to her experience with exotic animals. Okay, that makes a lot more sense now. I had hoped to get some information regarding the thing that I had brought back from my latest expedition. So we are playing as the person who owns this house. We shared a drink from my private collection, outlawed under official law, but not much of an offense for a man of means. No, no, I can just pay off. All those poor people can go to jail. I'll just pay a fine or something. And discussed the possible origin or um, origins of the beast. My words faltered, and I excused myself momentarily under the guise of placing a key to my collection in its proper place upstairs. Okay, so it kind of gives you um, clues as to where to get everything, which is a little odd because, I mean, if you played the other things, you already know where the stuff is. Oh crap! Oh crap! No, no, turn off light. Turn off light. Turn off light. Light off. Ooh, that was close. I almost killed myself by turning it off and on. Ooh. Bye bye creature. I was about to say, I was surprised that the creature did not show up to devour us. Interesting. So I don't know if there's any more stories of other people because there's more archways, but I didn't think, I don't know if there can be any more stories of stuff going on. Despite my best efforts, I was un unable to convey my guest exactly what I had taken from my um, Arctic expedition. And we, um, as we savored our drinks, I found myself wondering if there would be any way for her to help without exposing her to the dangers presented by the beast. I tried explaining the way, um, wait, the way the, it had stalked, oh, the way that it had stalked, they just typoed, um, us on the snow, leaving behind footprints that seemed to move in all directions at once, and approaching from paths it could not have rationally had access to, but my companion's, um, companion was unfettered, as she launched into yet another theory based on what little information I could provide, we retired to the kitchen for a small bite to accompany our um, slaked thirst. Big words! Big words that I'm not used to! Actually, they're not that big words. It's just reading out loud. I don't know. Um, I always have so much more trouble with my dyslexia when I'm reading out loud versus reading to myself. Okay, my guests put forth rather... Fan, um, fanatical theories regarding the thing's possible nature. As I recall, she gleefully re uh, recounted the potential ramifications of my having discovered a freshly um, speci um, speciated manner of beast, offering a dis um, dissect it and examine it um, personally. Uh, bleh. Like I said, not very good at reading out loud. My attempts to explain the havoc that the creature had wrecked on my expedition crew fell on deaf ears, and despite my initial protests, I found myself leading the, uh, my guest down to the boiler room, where I had locked the beast away just after my return. Cool, it's locked. We go back and get the thing. Will I be able to do anything here, though? That's the thing. I get devoured every time. There doesn't seem to be any way to survive. The lamp lantern's there. But the beast doesn't show up in the room until you go over by the cage. And at that point, there doesn't seem to be a way to get back to the lantern. I've tried and, oh, damn it. Get back over here. I've tried and it just doesn't seem to give you enough time. Hurry up. Be a little faster, my flying ghost of a friend. However, we all are spirits, which would make sense that we uh, all died to this creature. So we're all stuck here. It is interesting, though, that the creature doesn't seem to hunt us when we're just around here. It only hunts us in specific locations every time. Okay. As I started, um, stared at my empty cage, I felt the same cold, un untempered fear that had hunted me in the final hours of the expedition. The thing that had stalked me and my men out on the frozen Arctic waste had been released. That had nearly escaped. Um, wait. That had nearly escaped its containment as we passed through Vermont. My fur, uh, my fury got the better of me, and I rashly accused my guest of having taken the prize for her own personal gain. In my haste, I ordered her to sn uh, seek shelter elsewhere in the house, and I investigated the damaged boiler room myself. It soon became clear 
to me that I had been wrong in my initial assessment that and someone else had assisted the beast in its escape. Fearing for my life of my guest, I rushed to my quarters, fully intent on arming myself against the beast now prowling through my home. Okay, interesting. Can I turn this off and do this? Where am I? No, because I disappear as a soul when I do that. Okay, we'll try we'll try the get back here. Get back, get back, turn it off. Okay, we we survived, apparently. Cool. Hitting my mic. So we were actually able to do it. It's not impossible. I was wrong. It would appear. So I need to go upstairs. Hopefully we won't get devoured on our way there. Interesting, and everyone heads upstairs. Um, the other guy does because he knows that I have weapons up there apparently, and then she goes up there because I tell him, um, tell her to go up there. Oh wait, no, it's this door. Apparently, apparently it's this door. Open sesame. Um. Oh crap! Oh crap! Go go go! The entire house is going crooked. What are you doing to my house, Doc One? Oh no. This is interesting. Gravity's gone too, so it's not just me here. Very bizarre. I had once, in a moment of poor judgment, opened my home to um, visitors passing through the small town. It quickly grew to be renowned as a fantastic place for weary travelers, with meals um, catered by... Um, by my serving staff this was of course back in the days where I had staff but as I made my way to my chambers I found myself confronted by a ghost from those past days a man I had once offered shelters um, to stood before me in my own private chambers brandishing my own pistol at me and demanding an explanation for what he had seen his first panic shot missed me but just barely I stumbled backwards making my way to the guest chambers when the floor tumbled out from under me and sent me sprawling into the room I had never seen um, in my house before. Ooh, interesting. So was I supposed to go to the other door first and get shot at? Oh no, interesting. So we have never been here. He has never been to this place in his house. How odd. Uh oh, a way to save ourselves. Okay, we can go in here. Oh, this is good. I, okay, <clears throat> I do not know how long I was trapped in the um, in the alien space, devoured, um, divorced of all senses of myself. But when I returned to um, the familiar hallway of my home, I immediately tried to attend my guest to my guests. Her room had been torn apart as if um, my some wait as if my some feral animal by some feral animal once again. A, uh, probably a, uh, a uh, typo, but, um, but dust had long settled over what remained. Fearing the worst and unsure of my eye, uh, if my eyes could still be trusted, I returned to my private library in hope of finding some way to steady my nerves. So are we somehow in the future? Because they say there's dust everywhere. So... Oh crap! Uh, turn, turn off. What? No, 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 no! Don't you dare die! Don't you dare die! Go, 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 go! Oh no! Why did it go downstairs? Why did it go downstairs? I did not hit to go downstairs. I am mad. We have to do that all over again. Fuck. Okay, I'll be back when I when I get there. Go back this way, though we're upside down in an upside down world. In a topsy turvy world. Oh it's a topsy turvy world. Oh, there's a lantern right there. Okay, so we made it back. Hopefully we can survive this time. I know there's a lantern there now. Okay, we we know that. 
Oh, it won't let me click on it. Why won't it let me click on it? Holy crap. No, 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 no. It wouldn't let me click on the lantern. And it won't let me click on that lantern. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. I'm dead. I'm so dead. It's a, it's a, it's a dead end over here. Oh, damn it. Why, why are the lanterns not working? Ah, it takes so much work just to get back there. Oh, I am a little pissed. A little pissed, but you're not too pissed. Not too pissed not to try it again. Okay, I'll be back once again. It just takes freaking forever. <sighs> Shoo, darkness. Shoo. You're not my friend. No, I did not invite you to this dinner party. So I do declare, go. Go away. You're not invited. Ooby dooby doo. So this is the question that I have right now. Is, okay, we made it back to the part right before we get chased, pretty much. I just need to go into the room over here. But... Where do I go? Do I go to the basement? Because none of these lights work. I, I tried turning them on. None of them work. So do I run all the way to the entrance or to the basement? Now the annoying thing is if, if I die on either one of these, I'm going to have to play through this entire thing another like 10, 20 minutes just to get back. Okay, it's more like 10 minutes, but it feels like 20. Nope, yeah, they're, br they're broken, so... And I, and I don't think I'll have time once I go through this trap door. Oh, okay. Entrance, 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 entrance. Ah. Woo. Okay, the entrance was the right way to go, apparently. Okay. This was where it ended. As I reached for the familiar volume with the intent... Oh, wait. With the intent of losing myself in some other's travels... Depi um, depictions of a foreign land and await my fate lost in fantasy that now familiar thrumming sound filled my ears I recalled instantly how the beast had tore through my men rendering them asunder in a single moment although as uh, almost as though it it existed independently of physical space it could see um, see it in okay no sooner had the beast entered my sight that I, um, sight that I felt what I am sure the members of my expedition did did in their last moments. My sense of being was pulled from my now unmoving body, and I watched from a, um, afar as the creature set itself upon my now um, in, in, in inanimate body with unmatched ferocity. I ran. Still tied to this place, I did fall. Wait, I did fall. I could. Wait, I did all I could. What am I? What am I saying? Excuse me, Nathan. Uh, can 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 you read? Okay, I did all I could to escape it, running until all memory of what had happened left me, and I could no longer remember the route to escape. That cannot. Um. The the cons that concern is no more. In this place, I am faintly free of this uh, wretched house okay interesting so that's how we got to where we are okay patrick wren system designer producer okay this is the uh, credits i guess okay very interesting game i liked it once again i always have trouble reading out loud with these type of games um the only thing i didn't like about the game which was actually a part i kind of liked at the same time is that every time you died you had to start over but the thing i liked about it is that you there was multiple characters to play through as however once you got through all those characters restarting was just such a pain because you're like oh my goodness what am i supposed to do and some of it was me being stupid the first time i came downstairs and stuff i mean not the downstairs but the first time i ran away and entered the main entrance area i could have escaped i could have survived but i went back to try to get the lantern because i didn't realize that all the lanterns were broken and the second time I realized the lanterns were broken, I just went straight across to the other room, which is a trap. So both those times were kind of me being stupid, and I could have escaped a lot sooner. But um, overall, I enjoyed it. Interesting concept for a game made in 48 hours. It was very good looking, had a good concept, was well written. There was a couple of typos here and there, and but a lot of it was just me 
not being able to read apparently big words big words too big for my small brain apparently but uh thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this and thanks so much for the game developers for giving us such an interesting um story and and environment to play in and uh if, if you liked it please feel free to leave a like or comment letting me know um if you have any other games you uh, would like to see me play please go ahead and put those in the comments and i'll do my best to play them and thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch uh let's do this again sometime bye are you alive mr dog who's a good doggy who's a good boy I buried her alive, kid. You tell me. Huh? Go see for yourself. Not a good boy. Not a good doggy at all. <laughs>